everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Casca and I like to make things. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, but it doesn't matter because we have fun either way. In today's video, I'm going to be making some scrunch butt leggings. Okay, so I've not bought any fabric specifically for this. I'm just using some stretch jersey fabric that I had lying around from something else. I'm not even sure jersey is a good choice to make these out of, but I guess we'll find out. I don't think I've got enough to make them all in one colour, so I think I'm going to have to make them two-tone. I've done a mashup between a basic leggings pattern that I had and a two-tone shorts pattern I got from Mood. I've also made an adjustment to the back to try and accommodate the roughly buttness of them, which I'm hoping is going to give me the right effect. I tend not to wear leggings very often unless I'm wearing like, a long t-shirt or something to cover my hips because I've got really prominent hip dips. But I thought this could be fun to have a go at because it's supposed to accentuate certain features which I happen to have quite a lot of. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, with the back pattern all, I've cut through the leg because so I'm going to do a strip going over the knee area. I've not done the front leg yet because I want to try them on and work out exactly where the split needs to be on this leg. So what I'm probably going to do just to accommodate that is extend this by like an inch to give me some seam allowance for when I cut it in half. I'm also going to adjust the waistband just to have it come into like a little point here, just because I think it will look nice and it will accentuate the bum area. Pinning. Does anybody else have like really bent pins that you know you're never going to use because they're bent but you still put them in your pin cushion and you just don't take them out? I'm sure I'm, I can't be the only one who just keeps them for some reason. Okay, so I've just folded this in half so that I can get my angle for the other side. I've measured this and I have cut out some strips that I now need to hem them on either side and then pin them to the other side of this. So I will get on with that and fingers crossed it looks okay.
so I made a mistake. It happens. I accidentally sewed the seam for like the gusset area back to front. So I'm gonna have to seam rip all that. But it has given me the opportunity to try them on and see kind of how they're looking. So I'll just lower this down. So yeah, this is kind of where we are at the moment. So I'm quite happy with, this is like the most unflattering angle in the world. But this is kind of where we are. Yes, this is where I messed up, accidentally sewed these bits back to front. But I'm quite happy with the design, how they're looking. Um, I, ended, I did the knees going this way because I have femoral antiversion, which is where my kneecaps go inwards. So when I have things that go that way, it tends to accentuate it a lot more. So yeah, I'm... I'm really happy, I just need to fix these and then I need to do the actual ruchy butt part and sew on the waistband and then I think I'm done. So, yay. Okay, so I've decided that the easiest way to do this scrunchy butt thing is gonna be to, I've cut some elastic to the length of like half of what it was supposed to be on the original just regular leggings pattern and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it to this and stretch it and then in theory when it lets go it's going to all jump if that makes any sense whatsoever we'll give it a go and see if it does work I decided to add some elastic to the waistband just to help with the fit. I find that with my hip dips, most trousers tend to slip down into the dip and adding the elastic just helps them stay in place. I don't think they turned out too bad. They're really, really comfy and they're definitely wearable. Would I wear them out in public? I think I actually would. There's a bunch of mistakes, which is kind of normal for me, but they're mostly hidden on the inside or they're against black, so no one's gonna see them anyway. I'm really pleased with how well the scrunch bit worked. It's definitely got the desired effect. <laughs> If you pose right, not everybody has got an Instagram butt, unless you pose. I'm genuinely amazed that I managed to get them done in a day. I'm usually the slowest sewer in the world. Overall, I'm really, really pleased with them. And I think I might actually have a go at making some more with a different fabric. If you enjoyed this video, then giving it a like would be very much appreciated. I'm always open to constructive criticism and suggestions. So leave me a comment with things that you think I could improve on or things that you'd like to see. If you'd like to see more videos of me trying to make things, then why not subscribe? I do my best to upload a new video twice a month. See you next time, bye. Hi everyone, welcome to my... Ugh.
sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, but it doesn't matter because we have fun it even. To just have it dip in like that so it looks nice in the bow of it. So it can... Very nearly got a massive fold in this because I didn't actually line it up properly because I'm smart.